Hi guys, this is your girl Sherry Yvonne and I'm coming to you with a Shop My Stash. So if you want to see what I've pulled out the archives to use for the month of August, then keep on watching. Okay, so here we are. <clears throat> I've seen a lot of videos like this on YouTube where people shop their stash. I unfortunately don't have footage of me going through my collection. Maybe next time I, I can incorporate, um, you know, physically going through my stash and picking things out. Um, Cause I'm sure you guys would really enjoy that as well. But for now, I just have the products here in a Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale bag. Nothing fancy. I figured I'd do this video because this holds me accountable for using my makeup and you know you guys get to hold me accountable as well for using up my makeup. So these are products that I need to use up or I need to start using and I will explain why with each and every product. First product, better than sex mascara. I, first of all, I got this in gratis. Who knows when? I, I can't remember when I got this, but um, this is not my favorite formula. I know a lot of people love this formula, but it is not my favorite. I will say though, that once you get towards the end of, like once it dries out a little bit, it's a little better. Um, so I wanna use this up, I wanna use it. So I will use this, you know, for example, when I'm doing videos, I have it on today in addition to lashes. Um, it's a good formula. It's just not my favorite. So I do want to use up the ones I have and I'm going to use this one up. I'm going to use this in August. So that's number one. <clears throat> number two is, now don't judge me guys. I, I'm, I just want to use this stuff. Um, this is the Tarte Maracuja Creaseless Concealer in the shade Tan. But this was, I can't even remember when I bought this, but this was the old packaging. You can't even see the words anymore. They've rubbed off. But the reason I want to use this this summer is because I'm almost done. You know, I'm almost done. So I might as well finish it. So I'm going to make an effort to finish it. I have it on today. It's an amazing formula. It's just very thick. It, it has a dewy um, finish. It's great for, it's it's waterproof. Like if you had to go to the gym and you, you just wanted to cover up spots on your face or under your eyes, this will stay on. This will not come off while you're working out and drip and sweat. This is a great gym product. Um, but I, I wanna use this. So I want you guys to hold me accountable. We will do a video at the end of August just doing a um, a recap of everything I've been using and if I've finished them or not. But yeah, I just want to get get cracking and and use some of just you know rotate my collection and use what I have. You know, you know. <sighs> Next up, this has a story behind it. Should we should we ramble? Should we do some rambling? Yeah, let's do some rambling. I ramble in every video. So this is the Bare Minerals. Um, this is their foundation in Golden Dark. This is the original formula in Golden Dark. So I went to the Sephora in Times Square many moons ago and the girl color matched me. And for some reason, whenever I get color matched, it's always a shade that's way darker than what I am. Always. Not always. Not always. But most of the time when I go for a powder foundation, the shade I'm getting is like four shades darker than what I am. So with that being said, I never knew what to do with it. I never used it, but it makes a great bronzer slash contour color for me. 
So I do have it on today along with the Fenty stick and truffle. Um, so I have just dust, I just dusted it, you know, my nose on the outside and on, you know, my contour areas. And I've been using this since as a contour powder or a bronzer. So I just want to pull it out once again and finish it up. There's not much left in here. Um, it's less than halfway full. It's like to, it's like to here. So I just want to start using it again because it's, it's almost, you know, we're almost there. Might as well keep using it. The next product is, this is a product from Revlon. This is the Photo Ready. Um, I don't know what, you know, if there's another name to this, but it's called Photo Ready and it's in the shade Coral Reef 300. So it's this product here. I don't, God knows how old this is and if they still sell this, but um, this is the color. It's a beautiful color, but I have not used this until today. I've had this for a long time and I am just picking it up to use it. So I just used it today, literally. Like, as you can see, there are barely, you can barely see any kind of dent whatsoever. My first time using it today, it is beautiful as blush. It looks beautiful. So I wanna continue to use this this summer. Um, I just, I saw it and I said, come on girl, it's brand new. You haven't touched it. You've had it for a long, long time. Um, you need to use it. So today's the day. So this is going in my shop mustache. I'm very excited about it. It's so beautiful. And I'm going to use it as a blush this summer. Can't wait to share my end results of how much I've used of that. Next up we have the Urban Decay Optical Illusion Complexion Primer. Soothing, no, not soothing, smoothing, rosehip and argan oil, and pore perfecting. I don't know if they still sell these anymore. Um, they were selling these for a, a, for a while. I'm not sure if they discontinued them, forgive me if they have, but I, you know, I have a full, I have a full tube of this and I haven't been reaching for it. It's okay, there's nothing wrong with this primer. Um, it's, it has the slip, it has that silicone slip to it. So if you like a smoothing primer, this is great. It's hydrating, um, it has the, the rosehip and argan oil in it, which is good for your skin too. I have it on today and it works, it works great. It really does. So I need to start using this cause it's, it's full. I did get this for, for gratis and maybe that's why I haven't been reaching for it um, at all, but I need to start using this stuff. So that's that. Next up, this is something that I bought and I immediately didn't like it when I bought it. <clears throat> Mainly because of the smell. It has a strong stench. I don't know if I got a bad batch, but this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Concealer in 3.5. As you can see, I've used it, but I have not used much. You know, I've, I've been using it, but not using it, if you know what I mean. So I just wanna use some of this cause there's a ton in here. And what, oh, the smell. It smells like when I just bought it. It's just, I don't know, maybe, who knows, but it doesn't smell good. It smells like crayons, okay? Um, but I'm gonna use it for my brows because I've agreed that you, know, you can't smell it in your brow area. So I have it on today. And it's done a great job of cleaning up my brows, I will say. And um, yeah, we're gonna use it for that purpose. For um, the Tarte Maracuja concealer, I'm gonna use this under my eyes, which I did use today. Okay, so these are gonna be frequently used for the month of August. And then we're gonna come back and we're just gonna show some of my progress. Um, I guess this is turning into a project pan slash shop my stash, which I'm all for. I'm all for project panning. So we can, we can, you know, we, it can go either way. You know, we can do shop my stash project pan. You know, you can comment below what you would prefer to see. Anytime you see, you know, if you see this video and it's a year from now, feel free to comment below and you know, let me know if you want to see Shop My Stash or Project Pans, or if you like the Shop My Stash that turns into a Project Pan. Okay, last product, guys. 
these I love and adore, but I guess because it's summertime, I have not been reaching for them. And um, I just kept buying them and buying them. And I'm like, I have to finish the ones I have, but I would just buy more and buy them in different scents and just keep on buying them. So I'm gonna pull them out and just use them, even though it's summer and these are kind of thick. But this is the Josie Marin Divine Drip Argan Oil and Honey Butter Balm. This is one of my all-time favorite moisturizers. It's multi-purpose, so when I bought it, I was using it on my neck, I was using it on my face. You can use it on your elbows, your hands. It's kind of pricey, so I haven't been using it too much for body, but you can use it on your feet. So I just use it on special areas like hands, feet, neck, face. It smells amazing, depending on what scents you get. There's all different scents. This one's the Honey Peach. I wish you could smell it. Oh, it smells so good. But yeah, I need to use these because I have a ton of them and they're amazing. And even though they are a thicker formula, which I'll show you this, I haven't showed you much of product wise, but it's a thicker formula and it goes on matte. So it goes in not, it doesn't assist, it doesn't go in greasy. It goes in very matte. It's very, it's a very matte moisturizer, which is interesting. Oh, and it smells amazing. So as you can see, no greasiness. So these are just great for all different things. They're very multi-purpose. So that is my last product. I can't wait to come back at the end of August and share with you my progress with these. Um, I did show you for the most part how much of each one I had to use up, except for the Tarte one, which I will say is like literally like to here. So hopefully I can finish that in a month. This one, as you can see, you know, got a ways. So we'll work on it. But um, yeah, I look forward to coming back in August. And until next time, I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, so here we are. <clears throat> Sherry Yvonne coming to you. I don't know what my shoulders are doing. Oh, this is just weird. Why? <laughs> I'm trying to do the Harlem Shake. Like, what is that? So, if you guys want to see me stop, shut up. Blah, 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 blah. for so long how do you guys make these videos all day my legs asleep so if you guys want to see me shop my stash then keep on watching did we did we say keep on watching it or what oh, i don't remember <laughs> okay oh i don't know what's going on today it's a rough day well it's not a rough day it's just Okay. All right. Seriously.